How to set up your API key for Google Gemini CLI. I'm going to assume first of all that you have already installed Google Gemini CLI. So if you haven't, please go and install. And once you've done the installation, then quit out of Gemini again, simply forward slash quit. Okay, then we are going to be using Google Gemini with Visual Studio Code. So we get the best of two worlds. We've got the terminal and the GUI. Okay, so you can see I have already got my Visual Studio Code open. And in this case, I have opened a folder called Playground. Playground is simply a folder on my desktop. I've opened that up with Visual Studio Code and that now becomes my work area. So first thing you should do is create a folder inside your Playground called .gemini. That's the default place where Google Gemini CLI will look for when it is looking for your API key. So create a folder called .gemini. Inside that folder, create another file called dot env so full stop env and inside there is where you're going to paste your gemini api key and here's how you do it you simply have your variable name gemini underscore api underscore key all in uppercase equals and there you put your api key so that is a constant okay and this will be your actual api key so the actual api key that you've got you paste it in there and it's that simple once you do that file save Okay, now let's come out of that. I'm going to go back to my welcome page. Right, so now we are going to run it. It's this simple. Now to run this, I'm going to run this through the terminal within Visual Code. Code. So I'm going to click on uh, View and Terminal. Now I'm on a Windows platform and as you can see, the PowerShell comes up. There's nothing wrong in PowerShell, but I'm not going to run this through PowerShell. I'm going to run this through the Command Prompt. And notice I'm selecting Command Prompt there. If you run it through PowerShell, you might have to make some adjustments. So it's the easiest way is to do it through Command Prompt. So I come into Command Prompt and I'm going to start Gemini interactively by simply typing in Gemini. And there we are. Gemini is now up and running as you can see. And if I now go to forward slash A-U-T-H, that's authentication. And you can see I'm currently using, I'm logging in with my Google account. I'm going to go down to logging in with my Gemini API key. And you can see already it says it's existing API key detected. Um, so you click on the down arrow to select Gemini API key. Enter. And that is it. Now, if you want to make sure what you are running, simply put in forward slash about and enter. And now you can see. That's the version that I'm currently running, 012, and I'm using an API key. And here it is up and running. Now, through here, let's give it a, a simple test. I'm going to say, what is an API key? And so there you are up and running. So your API key is now up and running. Thank you very much. Please like and subscribe and we will have some other short tutorials coming up.